Mesfit was not done with it. He climbed on top of the corpse and continued to tear new wounds. Those with sensitive stomachs looked away in disgust. He has fallen. His first part of satisfying bloodlust. It's his second part. Misfit's wild behavior calmed and transitioned into admiring his kill. His hands were covered in the Etten's blood. Saren lurched, watching the blood trickle down his arm. Is he done yet? Oh, please, let him be done soon. I'll let you know when to look again. Slating of his thirst <laughs> came as his demon features lessened. Misfit and not the demon began to reappear. He looked increasingly tormented until finally he slid off the remains of the et. That's <laughs> so I'm just that's imagining awkward. like Please. the hunger is gone. I can't believe you just did that, Misfit's expression. I'm disgusted and slightly aroused. <laughs> his, his expression jerked, as if he were struggling with the morality of what just happened too. I mean, we did kill a bunch of innocent cyclopses. It's over now. And now you go back to your father. Putting this dark elf back into society was now the last thing in most of their minds. Will these cravings happen again? I'd be straight with you here. I don't know. Probably. They were all silent as they took in the possibility. I can't, I can't just go back to life he... He can't just go back and live with his father after this. He needs to be put to death. How can you be so cruel so easily? I also feel like Saren and Misfit were drawn by the same artist. There's a bunch of like similarities in like here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the way that their faces are lit. Enough. I trust Saren in his decision. Saren felt the weight of everyone's looks on him. He lives. We'll take him back to see his father, but after that, ellipsis. Saren looked intently at Misfit. There was only one solution. He has to stay under our supervision. Is that pardon? That's not safe. No. Are you sure about that? It be your responsibility. Taking on a pet is a big responsibility. In his mind, killing Misfit was another question. When every single ethic he, against every single eth, again, every single ethic he had as a healer. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, I'm sure killing this rampant, murdering, ravaging beast is against is beyond the pale. But allowing him to violently shred a bunch of cyclo cyclopes, that's fine. Loren exhaled and confronted Misfit. You're lucky there's a person here to vouch for your life. We won't hesitate to take it from you if we decide you're above our rules, what few of them we have. I understand. We have uh, unlocked an achievement. Saren, make sure he's a dependable and functional member of this group. Nope, never going to be in the party lineup again. Nope. I want to see his abs in camp. Saren saluted her as she walked away. The party gave Mesfit a range of looks from apathy to loathing as they followed her. His life had been spared one too many times, but Saren knew that was one of the most important factors to keeping him away from his demon's side. If Mesfit felt security instead of threat, there was a chance he could suppress his demon blood indefinitely. But that was going to be more difficult than Saren could have imagined. Alright. Alright, call it for the night. Or we can go to camp and do... It looks like Twitch is behaving again. I've been watching right. the frames as, you, as you've been reading. So we can, we can do one last round at camp. Alright. Jesus Christ! Good Christ! So crowded. And we still have... Three? Three characters? Three more characters? Where are they going to stand? I don't know. Maybe one of them is very large. Maybe, they... Maybe Spider-Man is one of them. 
Maybe there's a couple more dwarves involved. Oh, but but we can oh, okay. separate the screens into dudesmen and ladies. Dudesmen, ladies, sexy. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we start left to right? Uh, yep. Start with the, the one we want to talk to least, which is surprisingly not Loren. Why were you exiled from the council? You know very well why. I spoke truth that the council did not want to hear. Aren't you supposed to be on guard duty? It's as it sounds, unfortunately. But what does that mean? Do you lose your title of Arch Wizard? The Wizard's Guild is still in deliberation on that matter. Why do I suddenly have really sparkly, like, friendly eyes? I don't know. For once, I'm glad that politics are quite slow. Because you have Gandalf look. That's Gandalf's I'm being a shit look. Where he's like, ho, 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 ho. Mm. For once, I'm glad that politics are quite slow. <laughs> well. You may tell your princess that she doesn't need to worry about my ejection from the council. It should in no way hinder how I will be of service to her. I'm not out here to do politics. I'm out here to blow shit up. All right. Amukiki says nothing. <laughs> oh! Cold. So cold. Earned. How long have you been atop Mount Kronos? Longer than I've been atop your mom, dude. And that was, well... For as long as I've been a disciple, which is like a long time. It's like six weeks. You made it seem like you'd only been there a short time. Dude, I said it was like six weeks. No, no. The temple is built in those mountains. So, like, that's where I'd be. If not, where you found me. Why was your temple built there? Oh, uh, dude, that's where the truth mine is. Mount Kronos is home to many tombs. Which you probably noticed from all the lovely undead residents. But it's also like the closest we can come to goddess Iracha. But she is a god. Are you telling me she's buried there? I'm really... Whoa, what? No, dude, but her husband is. Husband? Ding. Yeah, the first master of truth. Uh... Cha? Well, you know, dude, it's not, not possible for anybody but him. Knock, knock. Who's there? Master of Truth. Master of Truth who? Oh, shit. I thought I had a follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, gotta beat him to the fucking punch. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Master of Truth. Master of Truth who? Master of Truth should have been a dentist, then he would have been Master of Truth X. <laughs> so we're joking with uh, with Ken, I assume? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky guy. Maybe she'll remarry someday. Who knows? Maybe she'll pick you. <laughs> Ting, I don't understand your religion. Dude, but... you're, you're making me blush. <laughs> that was really fucking awkward. All right, Ramus. You know what, those blue whales? I think my cart was attacked by them. Really? Yeah, I was going to trade with the elf cities, but goddamn bandits attacked me. Now I think about it, it was those there dark elves. That's a serious claim. Are you sure? Well, you don't just mistake someone for a blue elf. I mean, I was in the upside mountains rather than the desert, but you know, whatever. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, shit, I'm not saying all dark elves are bandits. Goddamn, sir, why you got read between the lines like that? No, that's that's, that's the end that's of that conversation. The that's that's yeah. Wow. All right. All right. Door away. Seeing those dark elves in the desert really puts an ache into my heart. You know. For their things. It don't feel no different than a grimoire. The elves and dwarves got shoved to one part of the town that's rotten, and ain't no one cares because they never see them. How's it... How's it go? 
Out of sight, out of mind. That's... Yeah, that. What human wrote that? I don't know. I understand. Perhaps that's the what Dark Elves were attempting to do when committing crimes. Getting attention. Maybe the kidnapping, but the murdering is just stupid on their part. Ain't no one gonna feel bad for you if you're killing them. No, that line was supposed to be assigned to Dora and it was misassigned. The stealing, though, I think they were just trying to eat. No harm in that. Anley. Look how sad she is. She needs a friend. It must be hard to find food in the desert. What could they possibly have to eat? Sand. We just eat sand. It's God. I took a shit that lasted six weeks one time. We ate so much fucking sand. You know what your shit looks like when y'all eat sand? Looks like fucking sand. I don't know if I'm eating shit or fresh. Tasty new sand. Maybe they have orcs. For food? <laughs> to eat them. <laughs> that doesn't sound too appetizing. I like that she has, like, awkward look. <laughs> Why are we still talking to these people? <laughs> I have a small question for you. Mm, really? Please go on. Why are you still here? I love her so much. She's so good. I, I'm sorry. Why are you still here? Nothing is keeping you here. You could run away right now. You could run away with me. Around the court. And I would sacrifice you to dark gods. Why would I do that? Because you're a slave? Uh, I, sorry, I thought that was obvious. No one else was talking about other slavery. Uh, I'm evil, but I'm still not owning slaves evil. <laughs> it had been so long since he'd considered himself a servant to Loran. It had been 20 whole minutes! She'd treated him more kindly than any other Amazon. God Jesus! <laughs> Whoa, this guy, is, this guy has deeply internalized his, uh, his and, station. That and is... gave him extensive freedom and trust. I am loyal to my princess, and she needs me by her side. What do you think will happen when she doesn't need you anymore? You go to nutrition vets, that's where you go. When this war is over and you both go traipsing back to your castle, who's going to go back to cleaning chamber pots? You. Or worse, she will forget your corpse among the hills, and only sometimes will she stop briefly and wonder if someone is missing. I... Would like to point out that this is this voicing is perfect. This is all you really mean to her. You are and always will be a slave. Saren's teeth were clenched shut from the horrible tale she wove. The horrible and completely one hundred percent accurate tale. Well, we know the answer to all of these questions. It's romance. Saren's thoughts drifted away to a life outside of slavery, but it was difficult to imagine. I only know how to live as a servant in the Citadel. If I had my freedom, where would I go? What would I do? Anything you want. He's Perk. You seem to know a lot about it. Maybe I can live with you. <laughs> Kambara, Kambara drew, grinned devilishly and tugged on Saren's armor. Now you're thinking straight. Literal straight. You see what I do there? Yes. <laughs> I think we'll get along just fine. Ego to teach you everything I know. Do you know how to hunt? Bah. How to provide for yourself in the swamps. Listen, listen, little boy and wizard. Let me tell you something about magic missile. <laughs> it's great for hunting. Never, Never misses. misses. Well, it doesn't have to do with anything. You you said you'd teach me how to live on my own. This is flirting. You are fucking this up right now. This is not good. This is... No, I meant... Why? You, you really weren't... No. You just <laughs> That's not... amazing! <laughs> no, it's not... It is... Is... 
I don't want to be a burden to, burden on you. Perhaps I can teach you a few things too, to thank you. Uh, nah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, current my fa- currently my favorite romance option. Yeah. I mean. Oh my god, she's literally... I never noticed because the dialogue box is always too low. She's literally wearing garters. No, no, she's not. Because they're not holding... Like, they're holding her skirt down. What is going on? What is happening there? Yeah, no, you're right. What is like, happening? Like, she's wearing bloomers with lace bottoms. Yep, that's what that is. All right. All right. We're not we... talking to Karen? Yeah, let's talk to Karen, and then we'll, we'll come back until we run last. May I ask another stupid question? I like another stupid, intensely personal question. Yes, go on. You announced that you would give your crown to Loren very soon and ellipsis. It was a decision I came to almost as soon as Loren rescued me. I only grew more sure of it as my... More sure of my decision as I saw Loren's maturity in battle. But you are still so young. Loren save your life so you would return to your throne. Loren should have never saved me. But she did. And now the Amazons have a weakling for a queen. It is my duty to keep their interests. The Amazons need Loren as their queen, not me. You are not weak. I've seen you fight. You are very strong, though poorly statted. My weakness lies within me, and that is the worst of all, worst kind of all. Oh, we should, we should be nice to the lady. Whatever you think is weakness is actually the fibers of every being. It is not a flaw worth condemning your whole life over. Our flaws are what separate us from the gods and make us all equal. That's an inter- another interesting theme that's been like running through this. Is yeah, like, the gods are perfect. The gods are perfect, and and mortals are flawed. Um. The Amazons do not have gods. We have great mothers. They are past queens. Saren felt his stomach clench. Karen sighed and looked away. That's right. The Amazons are like harsh atheists. We learned this. Mm. I am sorry. I don't know what for. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. All right, Drago. I feel bad for those dark elves, don't you? Yes. (laughs) I mean, those poor elves. They don't deserve to be treated like that. Right. That's terrible. Everyone in the world so sit on picking reasons to hate each other. I don't even understand why. If it's not who you are, it's, or it's where you're from, or what you look like. Is that why you hide your ears behind your hair? That's because I kind of fit them under the hat otherwise. What? Oh, right, you know about that. It's easy to hide them to explain I'm not from the forest and yak, yak, yak. Still, the world should be... I just had a thought. I'll finish my sentence. And then. The world should be a place where no one feels bad for how they look or whether they were born or anything else they can't control. The the yak, yak, yak line. Um, like, I think that's like a regional thing. Like, most, most there are lots of places where they would say blah, blah, blah mm. instead of yak, yak, yak. Oh. You think we can localize this? I think I think it's definitely a local, a localization, like a local preference to wherever the writer is from. Because, like, it would be completely normal. But I wouldn't, like, like being from Canada, I would never say it. Yeah, no. I find it hard to argue with that. I hope that one day, I hope one day that Aravorn becomes that place. Aravorn, that's the place where we all live. Yeah, it, I, naturally, it rolls right off the tongue. I've uh, said it a million times. I yeah, no, that. Aravorn is a subcontinent of Arathorn. Uh, me too. I love elvish clothing, but I'd kill for empire cuisine. Why can't we love both? I see your heart is in the right place. It's in the like fucking cheeseburgers, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna hurt so bad. I'm so excited. <laughs> Misfit glared at Saren as he approached. He flexed his jaw. <laughs> That's amazing! 
<laughs> At least it's a new emote. <laughs> Hashtag jaw flex. You allowed me to live. Why? You're not our enemy. I am. I'm part demon. I've hungered for your death before. I'll hunger again. Saren eyed Misfit, considering what he had said. If our roles were reversed, I wouldn't have let you live. You'd be a burden to keep and a danger to let go. My decision would have been quick. But our roles aren't reversed. It's a hypothetical, you fucking idiot. I stand by my decision. Now let me explain to you what a hypothetical is. Mess with his. Hey. I've turned my back on my brothers in the desert to become prisoner to Empire Dogs. I'd rather be dead. What did you call me? The Dark Elves have not forgotten the injustice the Empire's inflicted upon our kind. You're no better than the Forest Elves. I'm a servant of the Amazons. I've done nothing to the Dark Elves. A servant. A slave. You know true oppression. You can get me to a life with it. Excuse me? I feel like the DLC was like the bit where they're like, we never talked about Saren being a slave, eh? They're like, shit. I'm bound to a tree at night. You speak of me as if I'm not here. I can't be trusted to be left alone. Not even a bay. Oh, uh, actually, that's that's just a personal preference. I didn't know you were uncomfortable with it. I, I don't... Sorry. Um... Dude, I've got, like... I've got, like, demon blood everywhere. I've got, like, a three-foot demon dog. It's fucking insane. All right. I've, I've noticed. That's why I've been helping you bathe. This, this isn't a life I want to live. You have any idea how hard it is to get this thing into my pants? And it's going to bring Jim so much joy. <laughs> what about your father? That's how to start a quad talk conversation yeah, no, about that's, romance. That's, listen, I always I always open every first date with let's talk about your dad. Mesfit's hard glare softened at the thought of Tobar. You're alive for him and your people. You were once a freedom fighter. Is your movement over? No. He was quick to respond. The fire of his rebellion still alive within him. You have a lot to live for. They call me a monster. All I see is an elf in front of me. Mesfit's eyes searched Saren's face in silence. Neither found anything more to say in the unending pause, so Saren broke away. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Affection! All right. Mirth. I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> Why exactly were the Dark Elves exiled from the forest? Their blood causes the forest great pain. And because I speak for the forest, I feel their pain to ensure I see it stopped. I'm, like, I'm basically a Lorax with giant, huge tits. They might be quite small under that. Like it's I true. said, it's natural foliage. It's true. How I many dark elves kind of, kind of live through the el among the elves of the forest? What is it about their blood that hurts the trees? Yeah, they're part demon, and their veins flows the death of the demons, like the ones in Everburn. Friendly or forceful? Forceful? Tell me more. All right, all right. That makes sense. If they're abominations, then they belong where they are. No, that's not what I was going that's, for. That's not what we were going for. No, no. That might be a harsh t term, but yes, I agree. But are they evil people? The question took Mirth off guard. Well, that's a little bit more, yeah. They're like, kin to demons. But are they bad, cruel, criminal? Every time a dark elf shows himself to us, 
and soon inflict harm to steal our things, kidnap our children and murder our leaders. They're basically like humans, only they're blue. God of evil is up to you to decide. All I know is that they kinda live among us. Winter oh, what was that rich? Winter Wolves is an Italian developer? Huh. Is there an Italian version of this game? Like are we are we playing a localized version or are we playing a game which is at least in part written by someone who learned English as a second language? Uh, which would explain some of the stuff like some of the little like like, like weird English grimaces. That's all I could see about it. Alright, least interesting man. How are you handling Mesfit? Sorry, Misfit. Ray glared at Saren a moment before responding. Well, thank you. It was like conversation at first. <laughs> Is something the matter? You invited my worst enemy to bed with us. Instead of riding the instead of ridding the world of him, I must now watch over him like a child. Excuse me if I'm a little perturbed. I know my decision doesn't sit well with you, but I'm asking you to accept it. Just tell me why? Because I think I, he can redeem himself. He's a murderer! So are you. Bray clamped his mouth shut. Mesfit didn't kill your parents. Oh my god, oh my god. Ray's Batman! Your order to assassinate him is over. You're now teammates. Loren and I expect that you will respect that. I'm a professional, and I'll stop acting like one. Sorry. It's like all their games are in English. Interesting. Huh. Though he apologized, Saren knew that Ray would continue to not tolerate Mephred's presence. Like, that kind of awkwardness is the kind of thing that, that, that yeah, you might see. Yeah. Um, in somebody who, who... Like, it's pretty solid on English, but not 100%. Totally, yeah. yeah. But it also doesn't have a bunch of, like, weird... Alright, let's talk to Loren. I want to see a thing first, actually. Alright. So, we have currently five out of a possible eight romances. Right, okay. Now, let us assume that one of these is... Loren. Loren. Probably the first one. And one of them is Karen. That means... That there is one more person that we have yet to discover. Or yet to be able to romance. Or yet to be able to romance. That's true. That's true. Because who else have we... I'm not positive we've had romancy conversations with everybody. No, no. We've had romancy conversations with uh, with uh, Salzer. Um, we yeah. can't romance... We can't romance Apollo Michaud... Or um, I'm, Ramus. Yeah, Amukiki's on the list. Amukiki's on the list, right? We can't get these guys. Yeah. Uh, no, there's some. There's someone that we haven't met yet. And we have Dora shot us down, or is she on that list? Dora's not on that list. She's, you can't romance Dora. Okay. Dora's Dora's a dwarf. Like that was the fucking reason the game gave us. All right. So yeah, one of them was the Ren. One of them presumably is Karen. We can't because we're because a we're a dude. Man. So yeah, there's somebody we haven't met that we can... That we can uh, still romance. Alright. I'm excited. I hope they're exciting. We're now teamed with a druid. I've never met one of her kind before. She's very interesting. And beautiful. Her mouth clamped shut as she gave him a look. You have different... Yes. That too. But can we trust her? I feel as if I can. She seems to be open and honest and almost harmless, despite how goddamn fucking loud she is. Yet with her magic, she is definitely not. Friendly. We have always been friendly. It is the only mode that we understand with Loren. If we joke with her, she will kill us. <laughs> if we are forceful with us, she will kill us. I feel like she will be a helpful ally. Especially since she has high connections with the elves. Yes, her position in the Forest Nation will help us pass through freely. 
However, we must be wary that she does not attempt to sway us with an elf agenda. We're not to be her tools. Hey, Rich. Oh, no, man. Do you really think she would do that? Use you, I mean? Let me tell you about sweet dreams. Uh, Are they made of these? Yes. Um, Who am I to disagree? Yes. Now, in, in the context of that, some of them want to use you. Now, others may want to be used by you. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But undoubtedly, some of them wish to abuse you. Fair, fair. I understand. I think I may have encountered some of these, yes. <laughs> but, um, what, what if some of them would like to be abused by you? Well, we do practice slavery. Mm. Loren was silent for a moment. Not particularly. I consider that option with everyone. It must be a, it must be terrible not to trust anyone. Loren swallowed, blinked, performed several other regular biological functions, and then looked away. Oh All right. <laughs> oh, we still got like we're only in like chapter two, eh? So <laughs> we have to. So, so just to put this in context, we have to go to well it's five also, crypts. I feel like those will probably go faster because there's a lot less chatting. We're probably just gonna be punching things till they die. Yeah. So five crypts, and we haven't even gotten to like the Everburn yet, which is up in here. Yeah. No. We're there's this mysterious island going on up there. That I think is like the maybe the vampire castle. There's still a whole, like, DLC, like, castle thing we haven't done. Sweet. Um, and I think the last DLC character is, like, a hellhound or yeah. something? Have we been to Horus or the Vorklair? No. We don't know what they are. <laughs> or we why we would go there. Why we would go there. But we're fucking going there. But not tonight. No. No. Tonight, tonight we are done the stream. It is bedtime. Save the game. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Like, we got... Look at all these cool new characters we got. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. What have I done? I nope. don't know. Can you right-click? Can you exit? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we saved. We saved All right, that. so, opening next time, we're going to go camping. <laughs> we're going to get an exciting romance -y scene. Oh, yeah, that's right, because that's how they all start. Who, though? Like, who else do we have remotely any high romance with? Everyone else is at one. I don't know. Maybe they happen at, like, scripted times, not scripted levels. Oh, my God. I hope that... I hope that one of the people we wind up romancing is the evil demon that, like, that works for Foster Logger. Oh, super sexy lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope, I hope we wind up romancing her so that, like, like just, because it would be interesting. Like, we're seducing her from her evil ways or some bullshit. It's like Saren's whole jam. Yeah, yeah, I'm... <laughs> Let me talk to you about what is right in the world. What is good? What is no... You're a fucking slave! Oh, man, I can't remember the name of that goddamn magic card. Um, it was in Khan's block, but it was it was a creature that, that when it came into the battlefield, it, it turned one of your opponents to uh, creatures to um, your side for, for, like, a turn. Um, but, and the, 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 the art is just as, like, super... Dude, like this big dude with like super sick abs and the nickname for the card is abs of treason <laughs> good name yeah Graham Stark everybody Graham Stark right. oh man All right. so with that are we out yeah thanks for hanging out right. good night everybody